Hello, I'm here with Paul Salisbury from Salisbury Sons and I think he's got uh, really quite good news for us. There are new things he could present us which are not quite ready yet but will be in the future. Hello Paul. Hi there, hi. How are you doing? So what's what's up with this one? So, okay, so we had the Amp Megatron for the last few years, 8-bit uh, digital mono synth with the changeable firmwares that change it into drum machines and so on. Uh, and uh, they've now all gone. We've done various special editions over the years. Uh, and now we're looking at the, the new range, and this is going to be a full range of options. Uh, its direct successor will be the Amp Megatron 2. Firstly, just because it's the second Amp Megatron, but also because it's actually got two Amp Megatrons inside. You can see two voice cards. Uh, and you'll see when we go move on to the app on some of the features, but you've got all the Eurorack connectivity. These are all OLED screens. Uh, you've got much more layered options to choose from. Uh, you've got multi-core audio out, uh, line level out. You, uh, all the data is now stored on micro SD, so no more uh, FTDI cables or any librarian software. Just to, all the save off to micro SD and it's done. Uh, USB over mi uh, MIDI over USB, that kind of thing. So this will be uh, essentially the, the success to the Amp Megatron, which is the, the little brother to the Amp Multitron, which is the full eight voice uh, synthesizer. That's eight Amp Megatrons in one machine. But on top of that, you, you've got eight analog uh, CM3320 filters and eight analog VCAs. All of this is under digital control as well. So you'll have uh, envelopes on all the filters. So uh, you can hear the, the, the sound of the, the analog filters. But of course, the Amigatron is famous for its digital crunchy filters. So you've got both. So here's the digital filter. Now filter it down with the analog filter. This is multi-mode. There's uh, technically, it's based on the Elka Synthex uh, filter. There's technically 16, yeah, there's no, technically 16 permutations, although I think only about 10 or 11 do something because the sound can't get through uh, on some of them. Um, and again, we got the CV here. We have um, uh, internal modulation, uh, so you can plug in an external Eurorack as a sound source. If these haven't got anything plugged in, then they use an internal routing where you can route any voice to any voice and uh, modulate one by another. Um, the key thing is with all this is that you can load any firmware onto any card. So today I'm showing it off in its most simplest form, uh, eight voice polysynth. But this is actually going to be an incredibly deep uh, eight bit workstation. Uh, so I could load in uh, four voices of uh, at Megatron here, have a vo four voice poly, but then I might choose to have two Aussie drums there. So that would be 16 drum channels and maybe an Auditron bass line there and maybe a strings pad there or something like that. That will then all be sequenceable using a performance sequencer in, in, the, in this area here. This is the controller area. Uh, this The controller is like the... Uh, the hub that actually controls every single modular section of the of the synth, and that's yeah. There's a lot of work yet to do. Uh, I just want to sort of make an early announcement because I will then be doing videos as I develop it, showing off. It's, it's something that's way too deep for one quick preview. So yeah. obviously, it's a huge a huge uh, commitment there, and uh, you could quite. Uh, you could call it an 8-bit workstation then, yes, yes, uh, because um, now I get the concept, as you, as you explained it to me, it's, it's yeah, I, I think this will be this will be a very good thing to have at home, if you, if you, if you, if you had a bit, if you have, it is your, your thing, uh, and you told me there's something about the Ostertron soon, they are yeah. not new, but... No, the Ostertrons, I've had quite a few emails asking about them, because they went out of stock as soon as... Basically, this, the company's only me, <laughs> and I've been working so hard on this. As soon as I get back, I actually have stock ready to package up and ship. So yeah, it's the it's the 8-bit Eurorack module that has at the moment three different firmwares: the classic Ossetron. Let's just see if I this thing is. Oops, sorry. Uh, you might be able to pick this up through the mic. You won't hear it on here. That 
that bass line you can hear is the Oddie Tron. And then uh, you got this sound here. So it's it's just a little setup of the Oditron software and the Ossitron software. There's also the Ossi Drum software, the uh, eight-channel drum machine uh, as well that's available for it. This will all be back in stock next week. So. Uh, yeah. Yes, wonderful. One thing I forgot to ask is, um, this will also be open source again? Everything I do is open source, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not on there yet because it's still in development, but once it's ready, it'll all be up on the Salisbury Sins GitHub account. Yeah, wonderful. Yeah, so far, thank you so far. Uh, Paul, uh, thank you for having us, and yeah, we wish you good luck in accomplishing this um, very soon, yes. Thank you. Yeah, okay, that's uh, from Paul Salisbury from Salisbury Sins, and we are out, and bye for now.